Another set of downs again for Alabama. Bad snap. Milrow scoops it up. And he's trying to make something out of nothing. They'll add Lamb for the quarterback in his second start, and he is in. Touchdown, Alabama. He may be the most explosive player on this roster, and he just showed why. They're not there eating Rodney's guys, but out to lunch, yeah, that's how you would describe it. Uh, third and goal, bounce to the outside, and McClellan splashes in. Alabama with another third down conversion on their second possession of the night. As well as mix some stuff in for Jalen Milrow. And here's some of that. Milrow takes off, and he's in for his second rushing touchdown of the night. 13 yard run. And Amari Nyblack, the tight end, made it possible. That's Alabama quarterback with two rushing touchdowns in the same game two years ago. Bryce against Tennessee. Milrow has all day. Now he's going to unload deep. Got a man! Touchdown! Isaiah Bond in Alabama. At times, Milrow, because his arm is so strong, he has a tendency to put it on a line and throw it at guys instead of putting air under it and leading his receiver. He said that Miller had big runs every scrimmage they played. Milrow going deep again. And caught. Touchdown, Jermaine Burton. 48 yards. Fifth touchdown in the last five games. Playing in space. Let's hope they just spat that up and he's okay. A uh, lob on second and five. It's caught. Touchdown, Alabama. Amari Nyblack. 29 yard touchdown pass from Milrow, his third of the night. Also, kind of love they did a curtain call for the starting offensive line there. You see that? Buckner to the outside and to the end zone. Nine yard touchdown run for the Notre Dame transfer. Simpson trying to sneak it and they move the entire pile into the end zone. Middle must have had 10 guys within five yards of the ball, but couldn't stop the surge. Milrow again has to elude pressure, launches down field, and it's caught for a touchdown by Jermaine Burton. Exactly what you want with a safety. So by using the motion, you take the corner off of your best receiver and you get him matched up in a mismatch against a safety in Jaron Thompson, who cannot stay with him one-on-one. -on -one. And what a throw. He has time to make it. Milrow throws his best ball, which is a deep ball, right over the shoulder for the touchdown. He takes his job very serious of being a leader. Another low snap. Milrow scoops it up, has time, and delivers over the middle. And the catch is made by Nyblack, and he's getting to the end zone. Somehow eludes tacklers in Alabama. Not done yet. A quick strike. Falls on the ground again. I mean, he loses it. You're thinking, oh, no, what's going to happen? Composure, eyes downfield, and again into the teeth of that Texas defense to the tight end, Nyblack, who's an athletic, tough matchup. Is now for that big fella to get going vertical. Straight ahead run, Roy Dow Williams. He's in for the touchdown. And finally, one of these two teams finds the end zone. First touchdown of the day, and it's due to the bruising of Roy Dell Williams. The offensive line didn't even move. USF off the ball there. He was just more determined to get into the end zone. Calling their final timeout, even if they were to get a stop, the game would be all but over. There's the quarterback sneak. There's the push for Ty Simpson. And there is the salt and away touchdown for Alabama. Honestly, it's the definition of an HBO type of play. Quarterback takes a snap. First and 10 for the 33. Milrow, he's hit as he throws toward the end zone, has a man, hail, leaping grab. He's got it. Touchdown, Alabama. 
Milrow was down on the play. Looks like he took a hit after throwing that one up in the air. Finds the freshman Hale in the back of the ends on a big play deep down the field. Held, hold on to this and let's see where his feet are. One. One foot's down. Yep. He's got it. He's got that thing. Doesn't let it loose. That's a big time catch. Milrow jumps up, <laughs> realizes the throw that he just made, and he is fired up, and so is the Alabama sideline. Watch this. Imagine stepping into that, and you get hit right in the midsection and planted by the freshman Perkins again. All right, they're going to go for two here. Play clock down to two. And they go back to McClellan. McClellan assessing. Breaks one tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. It's just a counter play. Wasn't even blocked that great. McClellan able to break a tackle in the backfield, but old school Alabama football. 9.30 on ESPN Plus on the app. Milrow going to run it again. Got a lane. Kicked in the turbo, Milrow. Goodbye, touchdown, Bama. Jets, watch him take off here. There is no linebacker who's going to sit there and mirror him and chase him. Watch him split the safety in the corner and outrun him. Third down and six. They're trying to get lined up. Rodgers, they set up a screen. Picked off at the 25-yard line by Chris Braswell. Still on his feet. Miraculously scores! Bravo, Braswell! But that was Latham who made the play. That is the first non-offensive TD of the season for this Bama defense. Oh well, yeah, now look at this. Hands up, ball's tip. Now watch Braswell here. Watch him just rip it away from Pittman. I am not giving this baby up. <laughs> I smell a pick six. Got a run blitz, Mississippi State. Now's the time. Touchdown, Alabama. McClellan. They rode him like Seabiscuit on that drive. Watch what happens here. They are sending their linebackers, but again, extra gaps to protect, and you get a great block inside. Milrow going to run it. Put his foot in the ground. Cut north. Got to touchdown. And it came out. But he was in first. Look at this. Looks right. Doesn't see a second read. I'm out of here. And boy, did he put a move on Sean Preston. Ever. The middle safety. Here's a look from the pylon cam. Yeah, yeah he that, was in before yep. it came out. And a second down at 15 for Jalen Milrow and company. McClellan gets out of the backfield. Milrow going deep again. Man wide open. Got him. Isaiah Bond touchdown. 52 yards on the strike and nobody back there with Bond. The route is run here and then go off the secondary level and it's gone. The reason though, time to throw the ball. AM spied on the play. Low snap. Milro had to go down to get it. Look out from behind. Throws. Got it to Burton. Touchdown, Alabama. Watch this block. Bang. Nothing, nowhere to go, gives him time to throw the ball, and it's a beauty. To the left, and now the backfield empties. Milrow on a crossing route to Burton. Jermaine Burton, touchdown, Alabama. <laughs> 19-yard strike. Jalen Milrow there owning this A&M defense. Two open on an easy slant, third and long, and open by four yards. Hard to believe, and busts a couple tackles to put it in the end zone. This is the hole that Alabama cannot be in backed up in their own area. Third down at 15. No row, looking deep. Oh, he's got a receiver wide open, and it's caught at the 40-yard line by Kobe Prentice inside the 10 and into the end zone for the touchdown. That's Melrose's strength, the deep ball. down here in the middle of the field opens up. Kobe Prentice just going to get vertical and up the field. Arkansas safety grabs the underneath route. Nobody there. Jalen Milrow with the right read and a dime down the field. 
That's the progression, Tom, that Tommy Reese spoke to us about yesterday when we were meeting with him, and that's really where Jalen Milrow has been able to take his game. Stares down the underneath route, grabs that safety, has him come down, and he knows he's got the whole shot open down the field. Yeah, and the fact that he's now starting to begin to go left to right, high to low, and work through the progression with patience, and then turn it loose and let it go. They're going to go three tight ends here. Here comes a touch push, right? Milrow under, here it is. Push from behind by the tight end, Oots. And a touchdown for Alabama. Tough to defend and stop. First down at the 29 of Arkansas. And Milrow on a roll right now. Lobbing it downfield. Another wide open man. An easy catch by Nyblack. Alabama touchdown. Take a bow, Jalen Milrow. It's the blown coverage, and Jalen Milrow takes advantage of it. Nobody identifies Nye Black. Pierce is on the other side again, switched over. Milrow at third and seven. This time has time to the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Alabama. And it's Burton for the score. Makes sense. You think players instead of plays. Giving Milrow time to throw the ball. Spin move by Pierce, but beautiful route by Burton. And a strike. Nice out move and then hook up. That is timing. Jermaine Burton in motion toward the ball. No row. Gonna go deep. Lays it out there and he's got Bond. Isaiah Bond. Touchdown. Switch release ends up on McDonald number 12 and he runs right by him. Beautifully designed play. Jace McClellan heading to the corner. Touchdown, Alabama. They're in front for the first time. Watch him come downhill and then go around. That draws in that defense. Downhill, attack, attack, and then get outside with his speed. They need every yard they can get right now. Milton, backside pressure, down he goes, the ball is out. It's going to be scooped, and it might be a score. It is. Campbell, touchdown, Alabama. Braswell came around the outside. This time, the sack fumble. Got one for the team. Campbell with two big plays in the last couple of minutes. Defensive line to stop the fourth down play. This time, the sack around the corner from Chris Braswell. He scoops it, and he scores. Here comes Braswell. Milton couldn't feel him coming, waited too long. The force fumble. And then the fumble the other way for six by Campbell. We want to get Kobe Prentice involved. Well, he did there for the first down throw to the 23. And now it's Milrow all the way. Jalen Milrow will walk in. Touchdown, Alabama. There's the block. There it is. Sealed it off. Jalen did the rest. Let's see if it's a quarterback keeper. It is Jalen Milrow back in, in for the touchdown. Put it in reverse and score. I don't know if this was the design, but it sure worked because Jam Miller jams him into the end zone. <laughs> and Milrow's got his second rushing touchdown of the night. Alabama would love a score here. It's just over a minute to go in this quarter. Milrow thinking about throwing it again, and now he takes off. Jalen Milrow, touchdown, Alabama. He knows he's going to keep it, then watch his acceleration when he turns up right now. Boom. He's a 4-4 sprinter. Alabama trying to answer here. Back in the red zone. And Roydell Williams.
Adams will score. Touchdown, Alabama. Sixteen yards for Rodell Williams. Three different offensive linemen get the key blocks, get into the secondary, missed tackle. Could have been there, could have stopped it, but got there late. Second down and five. Alabama could get a first down at the six-yard line. And it's Jalen Milrow. Pump fakes. Jalen Milrow. Touchdown, Alabama. Again, four for number four. Triple option play, same one that LSU uses, and this time, bang! Look at that. That's running back speed right there. A little fake, the and shake, then he goes. and then first and goal at the 10. Jace McClellan, touchdown Alabama. Hand it to this offensive line. Might be Oates 45. It's both of them. One, two. Wow. How nice is that? Talk about clearing out. In the backfield, in the slot, as a blocker. I expect that package to expand. And he stays in the backfield here on first down. There's a good pass for a touchdown to Amari Nyblack. Jalen Milrow is blossoming. He's going to look to the left. This wheel right route right there is going to pull that safety and that beater route or that post route by Nylak right down the middle, unguarded. Great job with his eyes. Great play design by Tommy Reed. Three-man rush. They drop eight against Milrow. Lofts it downfield. Wide open and score it. Tied. Kobe Prentice. You can hit him in that left eye all you want. He is on fire. Seven of seven, two touchdown passes to open this game. Watch this sail route find this opening here. And because the quarterback steps up, because Milrow steps up, you see the secondary. And it's no surprise as they go with the tush push straight ahead in for the touchdown. It's no surprise that it was Caleb Downs. And Kevin said, as you see, the tush push that paid off the turnover and the touchdown there. High black in motion. He had the 26 yard touchdown earlier. He looks that way. And now trying to direct traffic and gets it complete to Williams. And Williams is able to turn the corner and score it for Alabama. Jalen Milrow extending the play and finding Roy Dell Williams for a 27 yard touchdown. Watch the Eric Jackson. He's going to be right on Miller. And he's going to have to decide, do I stay on him? Or excuse me, Roy Dell Williams, that was the running back. Do I stay on the running back? Is now doing stuff like this. And I mentioned they are winning because of him. Not just with him. It's plays on the ground. It's plays through the air. And it's been all Jalen Milrow today early in Lexington, Kentucky. First and goal. Milrow. And it is a high. Jalen Milrow, his fifth total touchdown of the day. Ola and Quinton watching their son continue his ascent. Jalen Milrow is just playing on a different level. The confidence is there as they have the ball on the one yard line. And they're trying to push Milrow in. Well, I thought he got it with that second effort. Boy, the second effort looked like he did, but as they clear this pile, it is a touchdown. And it's a six-pack for Milrow. Three rushing, three passing. Love these ones, too. Look at the push. Because he, he got stopped right away. The initial push, Roy, Roy Dell Williams came up and threw him into the end zone. First and goal, Miller straight ahead and just add to it. The tide is indeed rolling. Well, the physicality up front has been really impressive, right? Just the last, I don't know, since the middle of the second quarter, you felt like big physical Kentucky defensive front that is stout, that is tough to move, but 
opened up some big holes for Jim Miller, Jace McClellan, and Roy Dell Williams. It's a good kick out by Tyler Booker. Alabama has scored a touchdown in 11 straight red zone trips. Here's third and four. Milrow with time. Found his guy. Touchdown, Alabama. That's Jermaine Burton again. A five yard touchdown pass as Alabama strikes first. Down this area of the field, Chattanooga thinks, okay, the run's coming, though. They drop back. Three tight end package for Alabama as McClellan. He gets the carry straight up ahead, trying to push the pile, waiting for the signal, and still waiting. Now the late touchdown signal. Second touchdown of the game for the Crimson Tide. Well, no whistle, John, so you just keep on playing, keep chugging those legs. Says forward momentum was not stopped. He just keeps pushing, pushing, pushing. And then a little, a little help of his buddies, pay dirt. Second and seven. Williams with the carry. Bounces it to that left side. He's looking for the end zone, and he gets in. An 11-yard touchdown run for the senior, Roydell Williams. Big part of this drive, and then what an amazing cutback. That ball's supposed to go to the right, but he says, nope, the daylight's to the left. I'm going to take it that way. Puts his foot in the ground, hits the end zone. Ugh. I guess it's, it's a good problem to have. Milrow throwing the outside, leaping into the end zone. And Robbie Otts, touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown strike. Zone read. Everyone's worried about the quarterback run down here. He rides that thing down inside quickly. Nice, quick throw out to Oots. And what a great effort. Great shot here. Balance. Pushing that three technique off the line. Runner runs right behind it. Faking the toss. Milrow throwing wide open. Malik Benson. A 20 yard score. options we had and quickly we learned Jalen Milrow is our best option three tight ends and Justice Haynes is the running back he gets the carry and he is in there for the touchdown you put Agreed. Michigan in the SEC they could have three losses nah, by now I don't know about that they are not that good put Florida State in there I, I would say yes to that what you just said Punt return by uh, Caleb Downs, and he finds the seam. He makes the punter look silly. Caleb Downs, show him what you got. Touchdown, Bama. An 84-yard punt return for a touchdown by Caleb Downs player down and, and Alabama's had a couple issues receiving punts the last couple weeks well this may have solved some of those issues great job fielding the punt and then and look you're talking about just a premium who has 530 all town all time let's look at that punt return by yeah, down we gotta look at this again I mean talk about this you just catch the ball go left go right spin around and then just leave defenders in the dust there's there's just no real art to that thing. You're, oh, you're he said peace. See ya. Yeah. You know, your blocker is set up a certain way, but it, it's all about running the daylight. And, and I think this is one of the hardest jobs in football. Fielding punts. You got 11 guys screaming downfield on you. That ball is high in the air. You got to not only catch it and then do something with it. It's just one of the most impressive plays in football, in my opinion. I'm telling you, with the way Alabama is playing right now, this has to be one of the four best teams in the country. There is no doubt about it. Young gets the carry, and he pushes his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, they get the touchdown anyway, but Ty Simpson is, is going to be sick. We win national titles. All of our guys, a lot of them go to the league. 
You come in here and you trust our process, it'll work. Haynes bounces it to the outside. Touchdown, Bama. A 33-yard scamper. And you see why they love Justice Haynes. He's got big play potential every time he touches it. His second touchdown of the game. Take another look. And it pulled two guys from the right to the left, and then just good job reading the blocks, finding the daylight, and then the speed. Once you get that edge, do you have the speed to get it down the sideline? Well, the second down and one. Two tight ends set. Roydell Williams is the guy that got him there, and he's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. They're just loving getting in there, running it inside, double teaming, getting those big, massive bodies on you. We haven't seen Jalen Milrow air one out yet today, Gary. Now he does. And he's got Jermaine Burton. Burton, touchdown, Alabama. I don't, did he? And the only question I have is what was going on on defense? Watch this down here. Let's Jermaine Burton run right by him. No safety deep. Just lets him go as if he thought he had help. Might only be a two man rush this time. That's all it is. But there's a lot of airspace to cover for Milro. Still looking. Firing. Near corner. It's caught! Touchdown, Alabama! Isaiah Bond! On a fourth and a mile! <laughs> 31 yards! Touchdown, tied! We always keep thinking we've seen it all, and we never have, have we? Bond! Isaiah Bond. Unbelievable. Clearly had it. At any rate, it's first down and 20. He'll roll again, a wide snap. He's got a wheel wrap to Jam Miller. Touchdown, Alabama. Nice design play by offensive coordinator Tommy Reese. He creates traffic. You watch, here's who they know has the running back. Watch them create the traffic. Just enough traffic, he gets caught up in it, and it's a touchdown. 22nd touchdown pass of the year for Jayla Milrow. Under a minute. Milrow scans the field to the end zone, and it's caught. Jermaine Burton, touchdown Alabama. The gamble pays off, first to Bond, then to Burton. Watch the inside technique right here. Burton has to go outside, and then he gets back inside to catch the ball. Coming right at you. Watch, he gets up top. Watch the little, well, dice play. That can get you open. That's what the quarterback loves. And Milro delivers. Nope. Handoff. No, I don't know about that one either. I thought he got in late. He did. Touchdown. Roydell Williams. Aggressive answer. It started out throwing the ball. Four pass plays, completing all four of them, and then they push it in. And Roy Dale Williams stopped it first, right? And then second effort, and in right there. Behind Dupree, the tight end, and these offensive linemen. First down and 10, Alabama at the Michigan 34. Low snap, but he is able to get it to McClellan, who breaks free. Chase McClellan, touchdown run. Alabama strikes first. Milrow struggled to secure it, but when he got it to Jace McClellan, he was off like a rocket. 34 yards off the right side, 
Touchdown time! Inside zone, key block by the right guard, 77. Jaden Roberts, he gets up to the linebacker. Jace McClellan hits it. First and goal. Here's McClellan into the end zone off right tackle. Alabama takes the lead. Two plays into the fourth quarter. Jace McClellan with a three-yard touchdown run after Jalen Milrow made that sensational run to put them in position, and Alabama has the lead over number one Michigan. They came everything down. They come back, they pull Tyler Booker, they bring Robbie Oots, and then it's just downhill running, and you can feel it this entire second half. Joe, the Alabama line of scrimmage, the first half, I talked about a lot. Michigan was winning the line of scrimmage, both sides of the ball. The second half, it's completely flipped. Roll Tide! Roll Tide! Guess what? Roll Tide!